It's all about Jesus. Ari na ye Yesu Christo. Amen. It's the love of God. The yame dofono. You know, since I've come back to Ghana. I'm not never Ghana no. I've been almost overwhelmed by His love. Me yame do a ori do yano e son koma me. That Jesus has for His people. The day before yesterday, we went up into the hills. And there was a smallish church filled with people. And uh, uh, we could hear them praising the Lord as we drove up. And they all ran out of the church and greeted us. And then we went in. And I stood up to speak. And you know, what I had prepared was just thrown out. Amen. Because the Lord's overwhelming love just, just came over me in such a way. Now, I know. That all I can say is, Jesus loves you. He really, really loves you. You. Simply you. you are. And the talk just took another dimension. Now, I saw enough You see, God loved the world so much. That he sent his only son no, man, Doba, to die on the cross. So we will ascend the answer. Now there's a song that, that there's a famous hymn of the song Love and Sorrow Flow Mingling Down. As and you will honor my etony say, or do any soon is sunny free me. And somehow one feels this love of God. Absolute intense love. That took Jesus to the cross. To endure the suffering and sorrow of the cross. That those who believe in him shall not die. Amen. But shall have everlasting life. Amen. And this is the heart of the gospel. And that is what it's all about. You know, we can forget everything else. Amen. Just concentrate on Jesus. But what I want to share with you this morning is how to be equipped to give the word of God. Now, I believe all of you have been to Bible college. And that is important. But there's something far more important. And that is to be adequately equipped and to serve the Lord with effectiveness and power. Our enemy is not flesh and blood, but the principalities of evil. And if we are going to fight the principalities of evil and try and lead people out of evil into God's glorious light, we have to be prepared spiritually. Because no amount of knowledge or theology and no amount of man's wisdom is going to make much effect when people are lost in utter darkness. When they are lost in sickness. 
when they are demon possessed. It's just of no effect. So if we are wanting to set people free from the dominion of darkness, knowing that the dominion of darkness is a spiritual element, we need to be equipped and there are three vital parts of equipment that we need. Jesus points us to the first 11 times in John. John 5.19 Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing on his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. Jesus always points us to the Father. Jesus points us to the Jesus spent all night in prayer before he chose his 12 disciples. Very often Jesus used to withdraw by himself up into the hills of Galilee. He knew his father God in prayer. And he tells us to do the same. See, when we spend a lot of time in prayer in the Father's presence, we will see what the Father is doing. We will see with our own eyes what he is doing. Do you know what I mean? He reveals to her us his heart and what he's doing. I had a vision sometime. I've only had two visions. I saw Jesus. I, I was just praying normally. When suddenly I saw the vision of Jesus. And he pointed me to the Father. Okay, I turned around. In the vision. And I take one step towards the Father. And I found myself in a white, white mist. I actually could see nothing. I actually could hear nothing. But what I felt, I can never ever forget. I felt one little drop of the Father's heart for the world. And I burst into tears because I could not bear it. Jesus. It was that of intense love and sorrow. And it was unbearably painful. And I began to, I was crying more and more. And I kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I could think of nothing else to say. And then I realized that half the world do not even know who created them. Oh, Jesus. And many who do. 
prefer to live in their chosen lifestyles than to receive the truth of scripture and what Jesus has done for them in the cross. And I just carried on crying. I mean, what am I supposed to do about it? Except say sorry. Maybe 10, 15 minutes past. Maybe I don't know. But then suddenly I realized there was something I could do. And I said, Father God, I promise you, from this second on, I will give you every day to the rest of my life yeah. to reach out to as many lost people as I can yeah. and to challenge your church to wake up and do the same. Amen. And you know, I believe the Father received that. And I have to do it. Now, as I said, You know, if he had said, go tell, and things got hard, and things got tough, and things got hard, and things got tough, 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 but because the Lord showed me something deeper than words. And that was to feel his heart for the Lord. I know, I know that I will endure anything. You see, when you come into the Father's presence, it's more than reading the Bible. Mm. It's more than hearing. Mm. Sometimes it's even more than seeing. Mm. It's feeling and experiencing. God's intense love mm. for the human beings. Mm. Mm. He loves us because he created us. Mm. Prayer is the most vital thing we can do. Because everything that we do is birthed in prayer. Comes out of prayer. And without prayer we can do absolutely nothing. Let's go to the next scripture. John 5.30 I can do nothing on my own authority. As I hear, I judge. Mm. As I see, I judge. Hearing then becomes also important. Jesus saw and experienced. Then he heard what the Father told him. Yes. And then 12, John 12, 49 says, For I have not spoken on my own authority. The Father who sent me has himself given me commandment what to say and what to speak. And Jesus spoke what the Father gave him to speak. To form part of the Bible of today. The famous teachings, the famous parables. All that he did. And you know, if Jesus, the Son of God, did nothing on his own accord, 
on him. I just listen to him. I don't come back. Why you be be a finance and a pay more? Did nothing on his own authority. Why you be be a finance and a two me more? How dare we? I didn't know you in the yeah yeah be be a fee a pay. If we think we can make a clever sermon from scripture. Say you say but you say you to make a sermon from scripture. I I say me mu. And expect that to change people's hearts. No, no, you didn't say no moment to make a sermon from scripture. Our fruits will be very, very, very small. But if you have spent time in the Father's presence, seen and experienced what He's doing in the heavenly realm, and then heard the teachings from Him, as the Lord opens the Bible and the Scriptures to you, then the words of your mouth will never return void. But will come out with great effect. That's the only way. There is no other way. The Father is the source of everything that we must do. That is number one equipment. And no ne and what dear and I said to me any kaya yenya. Then let's go to the next. Yang kone to sumi no. The powerful, glorious and moyam victorious and kunemdi name of Jesus. Yes, Christ to dean. Jesus, the authority. Yes, Christ, are you to me? The victory that Jesus won on the cross. And could him dear Christ do what sin we are listening? He died to break the power of sin and death. And no one ever ever boo bonnet assuming any of you. And he went down to hell. Now, of course, I see, I see. And he took the keys back from the devil. And no, I a word to me if you uh, suffer if you are born in And rose in total victory and triumph. I know all sorry for you and couldn't be dear no one yammo. Over every demonic thing. I will to me be a year to me so. Over every sin on the earth. I will born in better was as a so. Over every sickness. I will yard be also. Over death itself. Over a one as an as a so. And these keys he gives to us. Amen. Me trust of one or the man. Yes, people. Yes. Amen. Amen. When we come up into the heavenly realm in prayer. Say ye ye ra asuru mu a wan pai bo mu a. When we have heard the Father speak to us. Say ye ti e jano ne so kasa chere ni a. Jesus then gives us the authority of his name. And no one asks you so odd it ne to me a to tread over all that demon and enemy. To cast that demon. To cast out sickness. And to proclaim his victory word and power. Luke 10 verse 19. Look at Mama T. Behold, I have given you authority. Mama will do me say to tread upon serpents and scorpions. What is your country? Any I want some. And over all the power of the enemy. I know, but never to me in a so. And nothing shall hurt you. That will be an hold my bed to me when they see it. He's given us. The authority of the name of Jesus. Where every knee must bow. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And this victory he won on the cross. So all demons have to bow their knee and go. Sicknesses have to bow their knee and go. Yes, have to bow their knee it's so powerful. And very powerful. From the moment Jesus died on the cross, he had this victory over evil. Amen. And I have seen pain disappear at the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 Y
and demons run onto people's lives. And Acts 4, verse 30 says, While I stretch it up thy hand to heal. Signs and wonders are performed through the name of thy servant Jesus. That's the victory over all the demonic oppressions of this earth. The powerful name of Jesus. And the third is the power of the Holy Spirit. And Acts 1 verse 8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria. Jerusalem, Judea, and, and to the ends of the earth. The Holy Spirit is given to us to witness for Jesus. Romans 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy. Um, 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 Joy and peace in believing. And as we do, I want come so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may be abound in hope. Now, I've been a more to me so no, yeah, now you've been a being a docus here. I've a boom. The Holy Spirit also fills us with God's love and joy and peace. Crown crown or the young upon don't as much here and then that's what she am. And Romans. 15, 19. And by the power of signs and wonders. Now, By the power of the Holy Spirit. And John 16, 13 to 15 says, And when the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he will speak, he will declare to you. All things that are to come. He will glorify me. He will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore I said, he will take what is mine mm. and declare it to you. Mm. So the Holy Spirit also mm. does nothing on his own authority, mm. Mm. but only what he sees the Father mm. do. God the source, mm. the authority of the name of Jesus, Yes, and the power of the Holy Spirit will equip you to be powerful witnesses for Jesus. Then when you speak, signs and wonders will naturally follow. You know, it's less of me more of God. None of me. None of me. All of God. It's dying to self. And allowing the Lord full and completely in your life. Amen. For him to pour his message through you. For him to pour his love through. For him to pour his healing touch through. For him to just pour out whatever he wants to do for the people. He is reality. And if we have any self 
inside. You know that just limits God. If there's any pride in a person, that will limit God. If there be any sin, even more, it will limit what God wants to do. We have to turn our backs so totally on sin and the pleasures of the world. Whatever and just give ourselves totally to Jesus. To ask him to cleanse us so fine. That there's not even a speck of dust between you and him. If you can get to that level in him. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for choosing each one of these men. You love every one of them. You want to bring them to a new level in you. And as they die of themselves, as they yield to you and dedicate their life in total surrender and truth in your hand. As they allow you free reigns in their minds, in their spirits, in their bodies, as they allow you to cleanse them and prepare them more and fill them for their service. That they will allow you to flow through their life completely free. Yes, Lord. Even at cost. It means sometimes going where you don't want to go. Sweating through the heat of the day. Getting full of dust no. and dirt. One in a bar. Laying their hands on countless and countless of people. Yes. Maybe for hours and hours on end. Yes. Mm. But then you get the energy. You reach out through them to heal the sick. And as they see your hand at work, they will give you all the praise that, that makes you want to just lie on the ground and worship. Let them know, Lord. Your glorious, glorious truth. Yes, Lord. Your yes, glorious, Lord. glorious love for your people. I pray that every one of us grow in your love and be able to live our lives for others that they can be set free to know you too thank you jesus amen 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 I just want you to turn to the Lord now. He wants to fill you with his love. I just want you to receive the Lord's love. Just let him do in you what he wants to do in you even now. Thank you, Jesus. 
think he wants us all to come forward. Stand in a large circle. He wants to bind us together as one in unity and purpose. I have given you the power to go out and deliver them from the power of darkness. But you are still living in your houses. Some people have paid a price. And you are using it today. And Dele Macabro, Hundur Macaboy, Mocandele Hamro Hotto, Le Baba Cabaya, Le Cabro Hotto Sandele Bacabro Cotto Sandele Babaya, Macabro Cotto Sandele Baya. Go out and do it for them. And I'll go with you. You will do everything in my name. And you will succeed. Amen. Just carry your cross and follow me. And I will make you. See the Lord of hosts. Amen.